Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial 1. I'll be teaching you how to get Blender and install it with Python. Uh, first for this, you need to go to your internet web browser and go to blender.org. This is the main site for Blender. Next we have all these tabs. We need to go to the download tab. And you can scroll down on that tab and we will see uh, the installers for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, I'm aiming for Windows in my tutorial, so if it's different on your operating system, uh, you may need to check that out on some forums or something. Okay, so for Windows, get Blender 2.44 installer. This is the newest version. Uh, we may be using newer versions in other tutorials I'm going to make, uh, depending on when they upgrade. After we've installed this, we need to make sure we need to get this, because if we don't have this, it will not run by itself you have to have this alright so after you've installed these two you're perfectly fine it will run but if you want more from blender you need to go get python just go to python.org python.org enable well after you've installed python and it was you to do plugins and also imports and exports from like 3d studio max and maya um, now when you get to the download tab in Python, scroll down to this. Um, okay, so this is our newest version. So we'll get the 2.5.1. After we've done this, this is my processor I'm using, so I'll be getting Python 2.5.1 MSI. Now, if after you've installed that, you don't have to you don't have to change any path directories or anything with the new version. So after we've done this, how we check to make sure it's worked perfectly fine, it's working up, we've got everything installed correctly. We'll be, it'll say compiled with Python, and it'll say got it. If not, it'll say, it'll say checking for installed Python, do not have it, stuff like that. Uh, other than that, if you have all that, then it's working. Uh, and that's what we need you to have for the next tutorials that we're going to be doing. So, blender.org and then python.org, okay? Alright, so that concludes tutorial number one, and in later tutorials, which I'll be doing, we'll be creating characters and learning the interface and stuff like that. So, stay tuned, and hopefully you will enjoy them.